Hi again. Let's continue with the weather app. So in the last video, I imported some network helpers and I set up the um, request here. I created an HTTP task and then set up my request object here. And I said request and we are requesting data from this URL. And the, um, the request here is either going to be, oops, I guess I deleted this part, right? by accident there. Let me put that back in there. Right, so this would have been the response, right? And this is on a success, and then this would have been an error if, uh, you know, if we had an error and we'd print the error description. So, you know, if, if the request was a success, we need to convert the response data into something that we can work with. So, um, we're going to start with if let dictionary um, equal response dot um, response object, right? And then this might, you know, might or might not have a value. We don't know yet, right? Because, you know, our application doesn't know what data is coming off the server, right? So we're going to use an optional here. And then we're going to say, like, this is going to be a dictionary, right? And when you have a dictionary, everything, you know, this is a little kind of raw version of a dictionary here and you know you have a key value colon and then a value right so the key here can be different types and the value can be different types so when we define the dictionary here we need to tell Swift what types are going to be in our dictionary that we're expecting from the server so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in string for the key and any object for the um, for the value, okay. So you know if this um, if this optional here is available, then dictionary will have a value and it will be a dictionary with string and any object pairs, okay. And this has got to be in any object because some of the values that we return are going to be strings and some of them are going to be numbers or you know other items, right? Like the temperature and stuff will be a number, right? So anyway, so there's our um, there's our value there, and then we can test this. We can say you know print line dictionary, right? And then we can see what that shows up here in the uh, in the the output window, right? We'll give that a test. So there's our app, and it loads up, and then you can see here. It shows me the weather data, and it shows me, you know, um, name is London, rain, says the sky is clear, you know, country is Great Britain, right? So this is pretty much all the same data that we got on the web here, right? So this is the data for London, okay? Okay. Um, except now we've got it into in our app here in Xcode, okay? We actually need to do a little more work to convert this into something that we can really work with, right? So, and, and then this is where we're going to use Swifty JSON. So, so far we've used, you know, all this HTTP stuff all belongs to the HTTP task. Um, and what we want to do now is we want to convert this dictionary into a little more usable object, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, add um, another line here. We're going to say, hey, let's let JSON equal JSON, this dictionary there, right? And then now, and this is a little... I know it's a little confusing here because it seems like this dictionary is good enough for us, but actually it's not quite there. This one is going to do everything we need to do in the easiest way possible. So now that we've got this dictionary, let's try and get some data from it, okay? So let's imagine that I want to set the city name, okay, or the, the weather description, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know, hey, um, if let description equal JSON, and this is the JSON variable that we created here, 
And then in that JSON variable, let me move this up a little bit so we can kind of see it, right? Um, but in now that we've we've converted this with Swifty JSON, we can access it in a much easier way. And the thing is, if I say JSON bracket, then I can get at any of the objects here by name. So at the top level, um, there's a a weather object here, right? So there's name, comma rain, comma ID, comma weather, right? That's at the top level. So I can say weather. And then inside weather, it shows the parentheses here. And that says that this is an array, right? So that means there's, there's, you know, there's one object in there and the item at the first index is zero. And that gives us this block here. And then if I want to get the description right here, I can say description, right? And then I want to access this as a string. So I got to put down string there, right? And we're using the if let optional syntax here. So, you know, if this value isn't found for some reason, then nothing, you know, it won't crash our program. You know, like it'll just skip over this, right? So if let description means, you know, if we look at this value here and it proves to be valid, then description will get a value and we'll do the code inside the block here. So what I want to do now is I want to say self dot um, uh, weather description equals the description that we just gathered from the JSON, okay? And then that should get our description. And then we can repeat this process for all of the, the values, you know, the temperature and the city name and the, you know, min temp and max temp and all that stuff. There's one more thing that we need to do here, okay? So this um, this uh, block of code that runs in the request runs on another thread, okay? So the computer is multi-threaded, right? So it can do two or three things at once. And in our code here, the code needs to take care of that, okay? So it's a little weird. Um, but anyway, so once we do all of the code here, right, and we've got our response, then what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to send us back to the main thread to tell the main thread to update. And what I want to do is essentially I want to call this delegate display weather on the main thread, okay, because all of this is going to happen inside a, another thread. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, and this is a little arcane here, I'm going to say dispatch um, get main queue, okay, so I'll say dispatch, or actually, no, wait, I want to do that one next. I want to do dispatch async, okay? And then I want to say dispatch get main queue, okay? So this is going to say let's dispatch something to the main thread, and then it's going to take a block here. And this block is going to, you know, execute the code that we want to execute. Um, so it doesn't, this is a block, it doesn't take any parameters, doesn't return any values, and then in, and then this is the code that we're going to execute. And the code that I want to execute is really this line right here. So I'll just cut and paste that. Oops. Um, cut. Paste. There we go. Right? I got some error here. Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, I got to have self there, so... Thanks, Xcode's helping me out there with the error messages. Okay, so um, so there we go. So let's give that a test, right? So if we're if we're correct, then we should be getting sky as clear as our as our description. Oh yeah, there we go. Sky is clear. And then we can continue with this, you know, if we want to get, say, the city name or something, we can say if, you know, let city name equal JSON um, bracket. And let me go look at the thing here, right? So where is the city name? Um, it's hard to read it here. Let me go back to that other one. Maybe we can print it out here again. Um, let 
let's say print line dictionary there and then I'll just put a comment here for now and we'll test it again so yeah so you can see um, so here's our dictionary and oh yeah name is the first thing there so I think we can just say uh, we can say Jason bracket name and then this should be a string and then we can say self dot um, city name equals city name and hopefully that'll update the city there if I got that right Oh, yeah, there's the city name, London, and then sky is clear. And then we can do the same thing with the temperature. I'll do that, and I'll, I'll complete this all in another video, right? And then we also want to get the city name from the actual city that you input. So we'll finish that up in the next video, okay?